J unit team. Very, very, very important topic tool is called J unit now. For every project in real time, we have analysis phase, we have design phase, we have build phase, we have testing phase, and we have production deployment. So let us see. Analysis, analysis, design, build, testing, and production. And production team. What happened? First, the project would be started on analysis phase. After that, project will be started on design phase. After that, project would be started on it will be moved to build phase. Once the project would be moved to build phase. Now, so once development is done, okay, everything is done, then this code will give to whom? Okay, testing team. Okay, testing team okay, expecting. Okay, testing team will start the okay, testing. Okay, now, so before if testing team will start the testing, they would find so many bugs. It is bad impression or number one again fixing all the fixing all the bugs doing retesting doing retesting taking more time number three it's a as long as more bugs means bad code it's a bad code no quality code more bugs means client will get bad impression on us bad impression on duty duty means a development team. so now to overcome all these problems before hand over my code to testing team developer want to test his code is working fine properly or not developer want to test his code is working fine properly or not we should go for unit testing. We should go for unit testing using J unit. We should go for unit testing J unit. J unit stands for Java unit testing. Number two, the main objective of unit testing is developer can test his code is working fine properly or not understanding okay now what is mean by unit testing what is mean by unit <coughs> now unit means it may be a class unit means collaboration of the classes collaboration means group of classes unit means it may be a piece of the code Collaboration means group of call. It may be a class. Unit means it may be a class. It may be a group of classes. It may be a piece of the code. Piece of the code is also called unit test. Is also called okay, unit testing team. So it, okay, it is also called a okay, unit testing team. Please try to understand thing. Piece of the code. Or, Unit test means a block of the code. A block of the code. A block of the code. Team. Now, see, first we will see team. what is agenda will we will write. One is a unit introduction. Another one is so today we'll talk about J unit team, J unit introduction, J unit software installations, J unit coding standards j unit coding standards annotations assertion methods life cycle with simple example you will be able to know complete stuff poc of examples once this is done poc of examples means proof of concept then how to implement j unit in project once it is done we will discuss what are the drawbacks of this J unit? Now, here, what is the code coverage tool? We are going to talk about both Obertura and Jacob. 
Inboard should support Jacoco because not Gogachara is before Jacoco version, but still some of the clients, some of the projects are using Gogachara. That's why we could uh, okay, we could implement it for the both team. Okay. Drawbacks of okay, unit testing team. If already J J unit is there, why we should go for Marketo frameworks? We'll talk about more okay, introduction about Marketo. Marketo overview. If already Marketo is there, why we should go for our market? In depth Marketo, we are going into cover team. Marketo frameworks here. We'll talk about Marketo frameworks means we have two team, Marketo and our market and spring spring unit testing team and spring unit testing team market and our market and spring of unit testing team okay now it is market if already market is there introduction software installations team market of examples team fourth one drawbacks of market if already Marketo is there, why industry is preferring for our market? Same concept. Introduction, software installation, examples. Before examples, we could start annotations. Before examples, we could start annotations. That's it. We could start annotations. Now, we are explaining in market. Spring unit testing using Spring. These days, and Spring Boot is coming into the market. Spring unit testing. How to work with uh, using Spring? Using Spring. How to work with Marketo? And concepts are same. Concepts are same. Power Marketo. How to work with the power Marketo and Power Marketo? Concepts are same. He forgot one thing. What are the drawbacks of Marketo? If already Marketo is there, what are the drawbacks of Marketo? If already Marketo is there in the market, why we should go for Power Marketo? Now, Power Marketo, introduction, software installation, annotations, examples. So now, how to implement in the project? How to implement in the project? Here, how to implement in the project? Here, small POC examples here. Then, how to implement in the project? Understood team? Now, so Spring Unit, okay, next one. So how to implement spring unit testing in the project? Spring unit testing in the project. That's it. Now, movie done. Summary. You know? Okay. This is about end-to-end J-unit agenda team. Okay. We'll go step-by-step -step team. We'll go. We'll go step-by-step. -step. We'll not go whole at, at one team. Understood? POC stands for proof of concepts. Now, okay, let us see. So it is, it is my project flow. So it is my project, okay, project phases. For every project, we have okay, different phases are there. Analysis phase, design phase, build phase, okay, testing phase and production. Analysis will have, you know, okay, requirement, understanding, design, design the architecture diagram, build, develop the coding. Once it is done, build. Testers will start the testing of our application. During testing, there might be so many bugs will come. Again, developer will fix, go to the code, fixing all these issues. Again, deploy the code into testing. It will take so much of time team. See, more number of bugs means it's a bad code. It's a no quality code. Client will not accept this. Bad impression on dev team team, not only you bad impression on dev team with respect to client with respect to product team everyone will see hey why these many issues are coming see to overcome these problems you should go for unit testing j unit stands for java unit testing objective of unit testing is developer can test his code is working fine properly or not developer can test his code is working fine properly or not. Here you have a unit testing. 
so make sure okay developer want to test this code you should go for unit testing team we should go for unit testing to make sure developer want to test his code is working fine properly or not we should go for okay unit testing team we should go for okay unit testing team understand team now let us see how it happens so now so this is what are the advantages with okay unit testing team so number of bugs can be reduced number of bugs can be reduced means we can deploy a quality code quality code third one without server without server that means in the bracket without server without deploy the application into server without deploying the application without okay, deploying application into server developer can test without server without okay, deploying the application into server developer can test developer can test the code next one see test cases can be executed thousands of okay, test cases are hundreds of okay, test cases hundreds of okay, test cases can be executed in milliseconds i can show you in milliseconds hundreds of okay, test cases can be executed in fraction of milliseconds i am giving challenging if your unit test case is perfect i am talking about api not front end front end testing is required going forward no more api engineer you can trust me i am sure if you are okay if you are okay, unit testing sir perfect team no need for quality engineer also i am talking about microsoft talking about api how beautiful as a developer will write the as a developer will write the coding right no need for any cut tester also team. no need for any cut tester also team. so these are the advantage these are the advantage means the next one the next one every feature enhancements we can we can we can every minor feature enhancements we can rely on unit testings instead of depending on we can rely on unit testing instead of relay depending on testing team qa team qe team quality analyst or qe team quality engineer team qe team or okay testing team see how fraction of seconds we can you can run the your okay, unit testings in your local team so these are the introduction about my unit testing j unit stands for java unit test unit testing unit means it may be a class it may be a collaboration of the classes it may be a piece of the code it may be a block of the code the main objective of unit testing is developer can test his code is working fine properly or not developer can test his code is working fine properly or not okay working fine okay properly or not team so now what are the advantages here number of bugs can be reduced quality of the code without okay, depending on the server developer can test the code hundreds of okay, test cases can be executed in milliseconds team now every minor feature enhancements we can rely on our unit testing instead of depending on qa or okay, testing team team these are the advantages with our unit testing team how the okay, software installations next one how the okay, software installations so it is an open source software it is a open source software it is in the form of jar file download latest version of a unit is 5.x still industry using 4.x i would explain difference also what is the use of j unit 5.x and what is the use of j unit 4.x i would explain to you okay, don't worry so now download j unit jar from cdps 
junit.org slash download download j unit jar j unit jar download software download not jar j unit.org if you give slash j unit means you can download from j unit 4 version you can download you will go till market is using j unit j unit 5.xt okay if you go for how to enable this j unit this one without maven add the j unit jars into class path so that we can use all the classes so that we can access we can access or use all the classes of j unit jar case 2 with maven add j unit dependency in form.xml how to add the over dependencies so that jars will set into class path automatically automatically then we can use the classes we can use the classes of j unit dot jar directly what are the dependencies team if you go here no dependency here maven dependency should be there j unit 5 j unit 4 maven dependencies 4.13.2 is the download and install let's see release notes see this is the j unit maven dependency of 4.x 5.x the dependencies are okay okay different team that means what is the group id what is the artifact id what is the scope so this group id and this one is a different let me check see this one is a different team here it is okay but here if you see let latest release is maven j unit maven dependencies j unit 5 Maven dependency, not this one. Team. This one, you have to add this one. Team. J unit org dot j unit team here. When it came, but industry started using when team recently, team. not earlier. Dependency, see how how it was there. J unit 5.x. I would explain what is the scope. You will be able to know about scope. Okay, tomorrow team. I will explain what is the scope. In the Maven classes, you will be able to know what is the okay, exact scope team. Here only J unit ORG J unit here. Artifact ID J unit. Here artifact ID J unit 5.engine. So I will explain a okay, difference between this and th th this, but if you are working with the Spring Boot, I would recommend for JUnit 5.x non-Spring Boot application. Spring Boot also still support, but for legacy projects, the legacy projects they are using this one. Legacy projects with Spring Boot or without Spring Boot also they are using Team. But even in, in my previous project, we are using Spring Boot, uh, Spring Boot um, uh, 2.3, okay, um, sorry, Spring Boot 1.5, something. Still, we have used this one. But latest version of Spring Boot, latest version of Spring Boot are new new development projects. Projects are using 5.x. Why I am stressing means if you joined any company, you would be able to see still this also hey this trainer has given this one but in my project i am using this one the difference is the annotations structure is okay, different the execution flow concept architecture life cycle all would be same but few are okay difference here but you should not get any okay difference team so all the new development projects are using 5.x already existing projects if you get an opportunity to work 
or people are asking hey already one service is there write some unit test cases of that service in our projects this one okay now this is called how to enable the j unit team how to enable the j unit okay now the next one thing j unit coding standards how to how to enable j unit third one j unit coding standard team two things team simple every every j j unit class should be suffix with the test before that i could add one thing team one small thing note before coding standard maven project structure people don't know all these things team people will feel okay everything is very simple but if you know the okay, difference before and after it is now here see it is my maven project structure team your j unit source code is available here j unit project structure it is if you see it here j unit project structure team so here project name it now src main java src main resources src java src test resources here we have com.xm see now here unit test here you have the source code here we have the project all project source code is available here, here you have project source code related xml properties file yaml file if, if required here j unit related source code is there very very important thing project j unit related source code is available project j unit related xml properties yaml so note which is under test folder the code which is under test folder means j unit source code plus j unit resources files will not be included will not be included in jar or var files very very important will not be included jar or var file number two j unit code will not be included will not be moved into that is here only thing that is j unit code will not moved into production as long as it is not included into jar deployment of your jarware will not be included in production number two j unit jars will not included in jars that is j unit jars will not be packaged packaged will not be packaged in will not be packaged will not be packaged or bundled into in in deployable in deployable in deployable artifact deployable artifact means jar or where that is j unit jars will not moved into production j unit jars will not moved into production j unit jars will not moved into production will not moved into production understand team these are the way i will show you practically these statements team okay don't worry no what is j unit coding standard team what is j unit coding standards i will explain if you don't understand now no problem i will show you practically with java decompiler every j unit class should be suffix with testing so i will show you this practically but don't worry number two that means if you, i have a class a i have class b i have so many classes team what is the unit testing of classes team it is my source code it is my source code team how about a okay, unit testing team unit testing how about my okay, unit testing public class a test public class b test public class a test public class b test by seeing this class name you will tell hey it is the unit test class 
it is the unit test class similarly your class is controller how to write controller test your class is service how to test how to write of unit test class service test your class is dao how to write of unit testing dao test i'm telling just your class is service client how to write of unit testing service client test if you want to write any unit testing of any class in your project these it could test by your class should be suffix with test make sure this classes should be under make sure this classes should be under src test java src test resources got it team please try to understand try to understand now sir i will not follow it's it's your wish boss who is stopping the class name start with capital don't follow i am the madman means then what can i do as a as a specification they are following they are giving some guidelines means for more readability understandability so maintainability we should follow some coding standards by seeing that class name you can able to see it is a unit test class few people are asking i am not following yes there is no guarantee but if you are developer you should follow some standards now okay step number 2 d every j unit method should be prefix with the test the class starts with it is a method method always starts with small source public class a public void m1 public void m2 a unit go to write public class a test public void m1 test sorry 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 test m1 here okay inside of the method we can write what kind of business logic public void test m2 that's it this is the way how to do understood team so hope you are clear by seeing this method name we should feel it is a unit testing that's it by seeing this method name you should feel it is a unit testing okay that's it no more okay discussions no more okay discussions you should feel like it is a unit testing okay that's it third one every j unit method should be should every j unit method access specifier should be public and return type is void even though you have here string is there even though you have here integer is there but j unit is always should be void example now here see public void test m1 whatever it you can do public void balance details test balance details public void test order details sorry this is what what is the coding standards team are we clear every day okay, are we clear team till now thank you all thank you everyone yeah thank you team